to weekly vlog episode eight. Yes, weekly vlog episode eight. Got some friends coming over today, but first I'm going to the shop because we want bagels. So when we want bagels, we have to go and buy bagels. And see you there. pointing the camera in the right place. So I thought we would have egg and bacon muffins for lunch. The bagels are for tomorrow or today if people want those. These were on offer. Spring onion, bean sprouts. Apparently in America these are called mung beans. Is that right? Have I got that right? Custard, very important. I'm gonna put this lot away, grab a cup of tea and then, oh, and then we've got friends coming over. Looking forward to that today. It has been a fabulous day today. It's about, oh, I don't know, ten past eight and our friends and goddaughters left, well not very long ago actually. We spent the day playing and eating and chatting. We went to the park and played spaceships. We did some running around, played some games. We did all sorts. We had pizza for tea and uh, it's been a really lovely day. And all I would say is, oh, to have the imagination of a four-year-old. I think we can all learn something about play being good for you and imagination being important part of life. Try not to lose yours. Sunday, been up a little while. My uh, weekly vlog for last week has just magically appeared on the internet. I hope you like it, so please tell me, or at least comment or answer some of the questions that I put in there. I've done a few bits and pieces at home, just negotiating the biggest puddle. I've done some chores, you know, some washing and all that sort of stuff. The sky is glorious, absolutely beautiful. It is freezing, and I should have worn a hat and some gloves with fingers. But never mind, I'm treating myself to a little bit of get outdoors time. I'm just enjoying being outside. It is freezing. There is a, a path there. That isn't marked on the map, but I might go that way. See how muddy it is getting up that hill. Let's do that. I've only got my jeans on, and I've only got shoes on, and my shoes just sort of came off. So I'm just gonna go for a wander because I neglected getting outdoors last week and it's a shame. go that way and actually I'm really glad I did because the view is lovely from up here blind you blind you blind you there we go not bad at all I mean I'm not at the top yet I'm gonna go down there I am really only out for, for sort of an hour I just wanted some time out because I realized while doing my vlog last week that I basically stayed inside most of the time that isn't a way for an outdoors lover to be let's get up to the top of there and then I'm going home via the farm shop because whilst I bought everything the other day that I needed to make my fish pie for dinner, I forgot milk. Time to make my lunch, which is going to be fish pie. So I've got all my ingredients out here. I have a new chopping board, which I want to introduce you to. <laughs> Thanks, Becca Mark. I've got the radio on, but I'm going to watch Sophie Bell. Whoops, I'm going to watch Sophie Bell. She started doing her weekly vlogs, and I thought, well, I really enjoy watching weekly vlogs, so you know.
I have to admit, not that excited about the working week, but it's all right, it's fine. I hope whatever you did at the weekend, you had a fab time. Now there's five days left of the week and five days left of the vlog. So let's see if we can make the most of this thing. It's my favorite weather. Wet and windy and cold. Oh yay, mm, nice, love it. Ugh. Hello, good afternoon. You'll notice it's light and that's because it's lunchtime and I've just come out for a walk, just trying to make the most of my hour that I get. I'm out of breath because I just walked up the hill. And I'm just on the hunt for a photograph, well, two pictures, one for my own photo challenge. I hope you're taking part. Check my blog for details, I'll link below. My own photo challenge this week is in the background and then X Amelia X's for today is just blue. So I'm gonna find something here that might work. I think I've just found something. So purple bricks and blue bricks. So if you head over to my Instagram, there should be, at some point, a photo of that on there. So that's my blue picture done for X Amelia X's challenge. I'm struggling a bit to find something for my own. <laughs> this in the background thing, I had loads of ideas when I set it, but I just haven't been able to make any of them work. Well, good evening, friends. It's Monday evening, it's home time, and it's definitely getting lighter. That I'm finding far too exciting. So much nicer now, it's getting light in the evenings. Oh, right, let's find the car and go home. It's freezing. So this evening for dinner, we are making, from my trusty soups book, this one, this uh, Chinese chicken soup, which is using this cooked chicken, which was cooking while I was out, uh, bean sprout noodles, spring onion, various condiments and pieces. So I'll stick you on the side and we'll see how this goes. I've not made this before. It's a brothy soup by the looks of things, but we'll see. It is Tuesday morning and as you can tell the weather is really really disgusting. I'm using my gym bag. I've been avoiding using it in the rain so far but I thought I'd give it a go today and see what it, how it fares. So I've put my stuff inside in a carrier bag just to make sure. Well it stopped raining which is good. Just popping to the sorting office for a mystery parcel. I wonder what it is. Being quick because uh, a colleague is making me a cup of tea while I'm out. Well, that took about 30 seconds, which is always good. And this is the parcel. Very boring. It's something that Lynx Geek has ordered to help make our CV work properly. Well, here we go then. I thought maybe it was an exciting present. Hmm. Feel free to send exciting presents. Okay, so it's lunchtime and I promised I would vlog at lunchtimes. Well, I said I'd try. So here I am, walking along the street, popped into boots because I wanted a new mascara because I've run out and I need a, a waterproof one. I don't know about you, but if you're an outdoor logging girl like me and you fancy a bit of mascara it needs to be waterproof <laughs> working day is done but I now have an event to go to at work and as you can tell it started raining again every time I've left the building today it started to rain there was blue sky in between now I've got to get to the bus station because I'm catching the bus home because we only have one car obviously Lynx Geek's already gone home the last bus home is at quarter past seven tell me in the comments below if you look at your local bus timetable what time the buses stop running? Honestly, quarter past seven from the main city bus station. And I'm only four and a half, five miles out. It's not like I live in the middle of nowhere. I'm gonna put this away because I'm gonna have to speed up a bit. So I'm in Waterstones. My friend is leaving, uh, my colleague, and I'm gonna miss her so much. So Lizzie, if you're watching, I miss you already. Um, I'm gonna get her one of these. Um, I got one, as you know, I got one a couple of birthdays ago and I really like it. 
and she's off to London to make her fame and fortune so I thought if she had somewhere to just write a line a day maybe she would um, be able to see how far she's going so uh, awesome good luck Lizzie well good evening it is Tuesday evening I'm not sure if I actually welcomed you to the day today I can't remember anyway it's Tuesday evening no it's not it's not even Tuesday evening it's Wednesday evening and I have just come out of work and you can just about see the moon what's my plans for this evening well okay so I need to exercise I'm gonna do some time on the exercise bike once I've done that I'm gonna have a bath and then dinner this evening is a lamb shank with something and something that'll be nice and we need to book a motel or a hotel or a campground or something for our first night in the USA which is actually going to be very soon after we arrive because we have to apply for some sort of waiver for the bikes to say that we're allowed to ride the British bikes in the USA. We don't need one of those for Canada, but we do for the USA and you have to have an address for the first night. So that's on the list for tonight. And then also I need to finish up my blog post for tomorrow's photo challenge. If you haven't looked yet, the weekly photo challenge this coming week is from where I stand. Something that everybody can do, stand where you are, point the camera and show me what you can see or if you're feeling more creative or in a particular melancholy mood or whatever demonstrate how you're feeling as in my point of view my opinion from where i stand can see me in the window I shall move from here so it is Thursday morning and I am sorting out and tidying up hence the moving around I left you yesterday with me exercising on the exercise bike I did 40 lunges and 40 squats 20 minutes on the exercise bike on a reasonable setting but just a fairly constant setting it just went up and down by one level every now and again I'm liking stargazing live I hope you're watching it, it's really interesting. Learned some stuff about Orion's belt, about hottest and the nearest and stuff like that. Um, it's the it's the one, it's, well, it's one of two constellations that I always remember, Orion and uh, the plow. Um, and it was there was some stuff about Orion last night which was really interesting and I enjoyed that. Well, as you can see, it is raining uh, again. We've been promised sleet and potentially snow today. Seven o'clock, just finished work, and I'm off to catch the bus again. It's windy, as you can see. Yay, I made it home! Oh, get in the bus. Oh. But at least it meant I didn't have to cycle, I didn't have to walk. Cycling. It, well, cycling might have been all right this evening, but this morning it wouldn't. And um, while well, walking would have taken forever, and it's already 20 to 8. So, I am preparing the washing up, then I'm going to sort the bins out, and then I have been set a challenge by my friend and colleague, Faye Wood, who saw my blog post on Marshmallow and suggested that we had a sweet swap challenge. Basically, she challenges me to make a sweet, I challenge her to make a sweet, and by sweet, I mean um, like candy, sweeties, sort of treats, not like dessert, not sweet as in dessert, but sweet as in candy. And she has asked me to make peanut brittle. So this evening, I think I can do it this evening. I'm gonna try that because it turns out that I have some salted peanuts and I have some caster sugar, and that's all you need. Okay then, so here goes with sweet swap challenge. The instructions are simply 100 grams of caster sugar, melt in the pan, leave it alone, which is quite difficult, and then give it a shake and just let it go golden. Apparently that's what I'm doing. Be brave and wait until the sugar starts to clump together, then goes a slightly silvery gray to see through color. Then it will turn caramel, stay with it. You want a deep dark mahogany color. Once it's dark and caramelly and shimmery, add the peanuts. Pour onto a baking tray lined with grease proof paper, leave alone and out of reach of small or large fingers, blah, blah, blah. It has started to go golden around the edges. 
So I've given it the shake that they said. I assume that's to um, even it out a bit. I think that's nearly there. Can you tell? I'm not making the best baking video here, am I? Let's add the peanuts. I don't know how it tastes yet. Obviously, you don't eat molten sugar. That would be bad. Here we are. Let's do it this way. Here we are. And now I just leave it to cool. As you can see, I've broken it in half just to check it is set. And uh, I'm going to break it up into bits. I'm going to put it in a tub. And I'm going to take it to work to give to Faye tomorrow and hope she likes it. Right, well then, good morning. Hang on, let me sort this out. I've just dropped my car off at the garage because it's MOT time. As you can see, we have a nice blue sky. It is utterly freezing. And it is actually freezing. So what are you doing on this Friday morning? I'm gonna give this Pomodoro time management technique a go. Something that's been recommended to me and then I asked Twitter and a few other people said, yeah, we use it. So I'm gonna give that a go. It's basically a, a time management technique that works in 25 minute or 20 minute chunks. So that's what I'm gonna try. And then this evening, I'm off out to see my sister and have a takeaway, which I'm very much looking forward to. Quite enjoy my walk, I have to say, but it is very busy and I'm being very self-conscious. But hey ho, I'm going to put this away and uh, bye, <laughs> bye. Good evening. Well, on more than one occasion today, I have filmed something rather profound that I wanted to share with you all, and actually turns out it didn't record. Well, you know, user error, not actually pressing the record button properly. Never mind. I shall finish the vlog here. It's Friday evening. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it's been an interesting vlog. I hope you're enjoying them, because I am certainly enjoying making them. I'm off out. Give me a thumbs up. Press the subscribe button. There's 38 of you now. Let's get some more. Comment below with whatever it is I've asked you through the vlog. If you've got to the right to the very end, type pineapple below, because I like pineapple. What better word? <laughs> See ya.